I really love paper white narcissi. Some people don't like the smell. I think it's one of the most delicious, delicious smells of the winter. I, I just simply adore it. And I was taught this by a relation. Um, he sent me, a cousin sent me a letter about 10 years ago saying he thought it was time that he passed me on the family tradition of making a tiered wedding cake of narcissi. Now he used miniature narcissi. He used tete-a-tete -tete or the lovely ivory cream one which is small like tete-a-tete -tete, uh, called elka or you can use one of the species like canaliculatus. But at Christmas I just adore using paper white narcissi. And so I planted these five weeks ago and that's really about how long it takes for paper whites to go from planting to flowering. They are so quick and the beauty of paper whites is that they don't need the dark, they just need the cold. So you want to plant them in the potting shed or somewhere like that or the garage and then just leave them. But they don't need to be put in the bottom of a cupboard like hyacinths do so they're much easier to force. And then all you do is you just plant them into, into standard pots and then when they come up to flower like they are now, I'm just going to move them from their pots into this container, just like this, and um, one layer at the bottom, and using the compost that I'm removing to put into a pot a bit higher up. And if you have a smaller house and you can't fit something like this, I've got a nice big hall so it can go, um, it can fit that. But you can just downscale the whole thing and use, as I say, a smaller narcissi. Um, and then this one goes higher up, so you get this feeling of, of this sort of scale. But actually I'm going to raise it even more, because I can put more compost in there and raise that right up. And the beauty of paper whites is that they actually can be grown in grit. They can be growing in marbles, it just, it just doesn't matter. Um, and so these have got almost no compost at all. Um, and so now I'm going to plant these all securely and sort of bed them in a bit. Um, this is a really nice container which I um, have had for years. I just knocked some holes in it a few years ago so it's got drainage. But if you've got a pot with no drainage, then you just want to put lots of grit in the bottom of the pot um, and ideally use a little bit of charcoal or bulb fibre which has charcoal in it um, to keep the compost what's called sweet and so then just put them all in like that and then what I'm going to do is push in some silver birch and start in the centre make a sort of twiggy nest like that and then just put these in all the way around so how I did this was I literally poked in one bit of silver birch and our woods are all full of silver birch and another one about six inches away and another one about six inches away and so on I'll explain what that funny pouch is in a minute. And then what you do is you just turn the first lot, like I've got here, at right angles and bend it onto the next one. And you basically just make a nest, just as you would if you were weaving a basket from willow or something. It's the same effect. And the great thing is, in the winter, silver birch is very pliable and it will weave very easily, like that. And then just to finish it off, I'm then going to get some what's called carpet moss, which is lovely, gives a real sort of green heart to the whole arrangement. Okay, so I don't feel too pumped up. Put a few more on the top. So it gets really nesty and relaxed 
and impactful. Just a little few holes I can see. So just to explain this funny pouch, um, this is a battery pack for the, the fairy lights. So again, I can then just tiny bit. Ah. Um, and then just hide that in there, and then hide it under a piece of moss. And then, just to finish it off, I've got a couple of things. One of these rather brilliant little flares, which you can put by your doorstep, which will take a candle. And so I can put that on the doorstep as people come in for a party. So maybe put two or three of those scattered right the way through the arrangement. That makes it more Christmassy and jolly. And then finally, really just decorating silver birch just as you know, your Christmas tree but with miniature baubles which are what's so nice so that it all feels the right kind of scale there we are so there we are a centre Christmas table centre nice <laughs>